Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. It is 642 right now as we start this Tuesday on a very good note. I've got another cool morning out there, a little chilly for some, temperatures in the mid-40s in some areas, but most of us right around 50 degrees. We're going to be warming to the mid-70s later on today. These are the best days, and usually they're in October or late September. You've got the cool mornings, warm afternoons, low humidity, great combination right there. So we take a look at the twin bridges in view from our Maldonado's roofing and siding camera there at the track. And yeah, the traffic moving nicely at this early morning hour. Uh, now let's take a look at what's going, what's going on right now down in Central City. A little bit of fog, a little patch of fog down there. Uh, just off Highway 431. That's our Austin Homes camera there. And of course downtown waiting on the sun to show its face. And we're going to wait a little bit longer. The sun is rising around 10 till 7 uh, these days. And yeah, it's a pretty good look at that golden glow along the horizon though. Right now the temperature 51 degrees. Got a north wind at 5 miles an hour. So a bit of a breeze out there. We're going to see it mainly from the north and from the northeast today like we did yesterday. Not quite as breezy as yesterday, although yesterday wasn't bad, but 5 to 15 yesterday, 5 to 10 today. And closer to 5 than 10. It's not going to be a big wind out there. Uh, let's see. We've got temperatures in the low 40s up in Princeton. 43 degrees, 44 Fairfield, 45 in Flora. Got to do it now. 46 degrees showing up in Vincennes. It's 47 degrees in Fordsville. 48 degrees showing up in Dixon. 49 in Calhoun. 50. Do we still not have a 50? We do not. Uh, it is 51, though, in Owensboro and also in Evansville. All right, coming down in three, two, one. Funky fruit. Today's funky fruit is Harry Mater. Check it out. There are the two eyes. There's a the mouth. Maybe he's smoking a cigar. I don't know. Got a little tuft of hair up there, but check out the goatee uh, down there. That is definitely a funky looking mouth. Looks almost like a beatnik mater, if you know, you know the beatnik. They were kind of the forerunners uh, to the hippies out there. But, yeah, I love it. Uh, looking good. Kathy. You know, when you got a mater looking that good, or that hairy anyway, <laughs> you just go by one name. Uh, Kathy, thank you so much for sending that my way. Uh, live radar not showing anything and nothing anywhere close. I mean, it's a dry run, high pressure and control across the entire region. Only travel problem you're going to have traveling to Chicago, Nashville, Atlanta, Cincinnati, Lexington, St. Louis, Indianapolis, points in between. Uh, is the sun getting your eyes if you're traveling to the east this morning? Uh, down to the south, that's where the big news is weather-wise, of course. It's Hurricane Milton. It's now a weaker hurricane, but it's still a major Category 4 hurricane just off the Yucatan Peninsula. It will re-strengthen, it looks like, to a Cat 5 before it makes its way up toward Florida. It's going to weaken a little bit, too, but you can see the center of that storm just off the Yucatan, and it, yes, it's still well to the south, but over the next couple of days, it's making headway toward Florida. It looks like it's going to make landfall. Uh, might be a Category 4. It's either going to be a low-end Cat 4, high-end Cat 3 uh, when it makes landfall in the Tampa St. Pete area. Very uh, populated area, obviously, and cut across Central Florida as a hurricane, all the way through Florida as a hurricane. That includes Orlando, the Space Coast, as it makes its way out to sea. So it's going to cause a lot of problems there in Central Florida, to say the least. So that's Milton right there. And, of course, they just got hit by Helene just a little bit farther up the coast. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more in play, though. The, the wind is going to be a bigger factor. The storm surge is going to be a bigger factor along with that rain, too. Future track, nothing. No factors here as far as weather is concerned except the sunshine out there. So I guess make sure you wear your sunscreen. Other than that, things are looking great. 75 degrees, plenty of sunshine out there from start to finish. Pleasantly warm uh, with the north-northeast wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. That's later on, pleasantly warm. It's pleasantly chilly, I guess, right now. Uh, 72 degrees for a high is what I call on the three degree guarantee got up to 74 that works byron westerfield of owensboro congratulations byron you've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of ackerman chiropractic come on by the station see pam up front give her till 8 30 though so she can get her psl or pam simpson latte from donut bank uh 75 degrees for a high today 77 tomorrow 79 on thursday so we slowly warm up uh temperatures staying nice and chilly though in the mornings in the mid to upper 40s 50 on friday morning now we're starting to see some 80s as we head into the weekend low 80s on saturday and sunday no problem though because we don't have any humidity and even a front moving in on sunday night's not going to bring rain but it is going to drop that temperature about 13 degrees, it looks like, down into the upper 60s on Monday. So getting cooler next week. Today is the eighth day of October. 10-8, it is National Fluffernutter Day. Oh, it my God. Which is peanut butter and marshmallow yes. cream. So uh -huh. there you go. I think there's some Fluffernutter sandwiches on the... Really? We used to have Let's we used to have sandwiches, peanut butter, and marshmallow. We call them I peanut butter and marshmallow cream. We didn't call them fluffer nutters, but oh, that's okay. what it is, obviously. Uh, Let's consult the Bible. It's okay. also National Pierogi Day. Do they have any pierogies out there at the they fall might. festival? It's also National Hero Day and 
World Octopus Day. Do they have any calamari? At one time, I think Montessori yes, I had they like did. calamari on a stick. You would think uh, they, ITV would have calamari. They might. I might give that a shot because it was the worst thing I think I've ever had at the Fall Festival. What? It was really? chewy. Oh, <laughs> <man. It can't laughs> I do like calamari that was done right. Uh, I don't think that was done right. Uh, that <laughs> was one of those. I don't think it's still on the menu there at Montessori, but it might be somewhere else. So. They got, uh, ooh, pumpkin bread pudding. Where's that? that? Pumpkin fudge. That's booth one. That sounds like something that can be gobbled up without a spoon, right? And a fork. Hmm, interesting. Are you gonna do that for your? That's a that's a possibility. Granted, there. it's at the granted booth. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm yeah, going yeah. there. All right, good deal. <laughs>